The explosion of apps. Apps are everywhere. There are millions of apps on a rapidly growing number of platforms. There are mobile apps, browser apps, desktop apps, Facebook apps, web apps, and let's not forget widgets, add-ons, extensions, and plugins. Not to mention, these days almost every developer is releasing an API and creating their own platform, and more and more apps are being created every day. Apps make people's lives better. You see, apps allow us to solve problems right at our fingertips and allow us to do things that were never possible before. For example, you can play any type game you're in the mood for right on your phone, or get directions, listen to music, call a cab or connect with friends, and even book a flight. Similarly, you can use Facebook to find a job, translate chat conversations instantly, and play games with friends. Even Flickr has apps to help you do things like remove red eye, make photo albums, and easily view your favorite photos. Apps are solutions to everyday problems, and there are apps for everything. But unfortunately, the explosion of apps has resulted in a mess, and you can't find the tools you want right at the moment you need them. Today's app discovery solutions aren't enough. It's impossible to browse through millions of apps and find the perfect app for your exact needs. If you think back, today's situation with apps is similar to the early days of the web. In the 90s, many search engines wanted to give structure to the web, so they created a directory of sites. And each site had a title, description, and meta tags. You were able to browse the directory like a catalog or search it using very basic keywords. But then Google came around in 1998 and introduced PageRank. Google said the web already has a structure. You have a site, and site A links to site B, and site B links to site C, and understanding the structure of the web allowed Google to create a much better search. Back in the day, Larry and Sergey used to say, one day, anytime a question comes to mind, you'll just Google it. Many people laughed and asked, why would we search when we can just browse? We saw how that one played out. Today, we are back to where the web was in the 90s. We have apps, and they have titles, descriptions, and meta tags. And you can browse apps in categories and use very basic keyword search. But we believe search should be different. The functional web exists. It has a natural structure. There is an app, and this app is being talked about all over the web. And each time it is mentioned, it's like a hyperlink. The app also uses various APIs and lives across multiple platforms. There is a natural structure to the functional web, and you can create a much better search. We all agree there is an app for everything, and you should feel comfortable describing exactly what you want using one word, two words, or whatever comes to mind. Solving the app discovery problem and functional search. Over the course of two years, we built a search engine from scratch. With our knowledge of the functional web, we built functional search. Functional Search leverages data from across the web to learn exactly what each app can do. Since we have a thorough understanding of each app, Functional Search is not dependent on an app's description and title. Unlike other search engines, with Quixie, you don't have to know the name of the app you're looking for or know the exact keywords in its description. Simply describe what you want to do and instantaneously you'll have the solutions at your fingertips. It's that simple. Our Execution Strategy We specialize in powering app search. We don't have an app that you can download onto your smartphone because we believe in being directly integrated into every platform and device. We want to be everywhere. That's why we are rapidly forming partnerships. We'll be powering billions of search queries in no time. Just look for the Powered by Quixie on your search bar and then answer the simple question, what do you want to do?